What's up everybody, Bubba D's here, and today we are finally gonna be able to do everything in one pot. We're calling this the one pot chicken, and we are gonna be starting off with, of course, a whole chicken. Now this could be organic or it could be farm raised, whatever chicken you got around, it's completely up to you. We're also gonna be needing chicken broth, and it's roughly around one cup. If you don't like chicken broth, you can use vegetable broth as well. Uh, garlic, pepper, herb seasoning is, is what I like to roll with. It's something that uh, gives plenty of flavor and it gives a variety of different seasonings. Paprika brings out that nice smoky flavor. Kind of give you that uh, taste of it being on the barbecue. I have white pepper. You can also use black pepper if you'd like. Or chili flakes. Of course, we need some uh, salt whether it's table salt or uh, kosher salt. Use whatever one you got around. And talked about it in my last video, but this is something that I always love to use. It's called liquid smoke. You can get it on Amazon or any kind of uh, major retailers in the US. Gives it that nice smoky flavor. So let's get started. Oh, and of course we need our Instapot and we're gonna be using also our uh, milky Chris lid. And that's the only way that you can get all of this to happen in one pot. No more having to take it out, put it in the oven, crisp it up. This is all going to be happening in one pot. Why dirty your pot when you can literally use the Instapot and the crisp lid together? So what we're going to be doing is we need to actually use cooking scissors. These cooking scissors are uh, what I prefer. It makes it so much easier when you're actually cutting up the chicken and uh, separating the uh, spine from the chicken to give it that flat feature. So we're going to be making a V, literally cutting right in that area, ripping that area out and that allows the chicken to completely be flat. If you don't wanna do this, it's not a problem. You can always get flattened chickens from your grocery store, or you can go ahead and use it as is. Now, it makes it obviously easier when the chicken's flat and for cooking purposes, but it's completely up to you. So those are all the pieces that I'm gonna be discarding. Not too much waste when you're actually removing the spine. It's a part that most people don't even eat. And there's your flattened chicken. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and season this. We're gonna use uh, our kosher salt. We're gonna use our garlic pepper and herbs. Rub that all over. And I like to over season my chicken uh, just because most of it may come off when you're actually using the Instant Pot because you are using a steaming feature. There's the paprika, there's the white pepper that was put on, and I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing on the backside, making sure that I get it in all these different areas so that the chicken is completely well covered and well seasoned. There you go. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in a trivet basket. I'm using the eight quart Instant Pot. You can use similar sizes. You can use the six quart as well. I don't believe you'll be able to pull off a whole chicken inside a three quart, but you can go ahead and you can give that a shot. Um, I'm using my instant liquid smoke through a little bit of uh, drops of that in there. And I'm using one cup of chicken broth. If you don't have neither one, you can go ahead and you can use water. So let's get our chicken ready, put it right in. This just allows it to be slightly lifted off and it gives us a nice little handle to hold when we're pulling it out. We'll go ahead and put our lid on. There's that beautiful chicken. And when you're putting your lid on, you wanna make sure that obviously you have it completely hit on the seal feature. You'll go ahead and hit manual. We're gonna go high pressure for 20 minutes and that magic will start to happen. So we're gonna start counting it down. You'll see that it starts going from 20 all the way down to one and then eventually off. Uh, when it does get that off button, we'll release the steam. We'll do a quick release. Um, we will also make sure that our Instapot is completely unplugged before we start to use the uh, milky crisp lid. So that's what our chicken looks like once it comes out of the Instapot. After having 20 minutes in there, we'll go ahead and put our milky crisp lid on. We'll hit the temperature button. We'll hit 500 and we'll do the time for about five minutes. Now that beautiful amber light comes on, you know, the magic is starting to happen inside the Instapot. And we're gonna be adding a nice, beautiful crust and skin's gonna be beautiful. Skin's gonna actually be beautiful. And there it is. Not gonna waste any more time. That's what the bird looks like. It's completely done. It uh, has a beautiful golden brown feature to it. We'll remove it from the basket. Show you guys what it looks like. We'll give it a nice little cut up. And now you got a dinner for, uh, for your family. You can make a side with this. You can do some simple rice, some potatoes. Um, but most importantly, the chicken part is completely done. Go ahead and cut that breast and I'll show you guys a close-up so you guys can uh, see what it looks like. 
And I'm telling you, the taste, you can see all the seasoning on there. It is well seasoned. It tastes absolutely delicious. With that liquid smoke, you got that nice little smoky taste. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely stunning. You guys got to give this a try. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, if you haven't already known, Melty.com is giving $10 savings if you use the coupon code Bubba D's for a limited time. Definitely check that out. Take advantage of this chrysalid because it does truly make this chicken a one pot chicken. No more having to put anything in the oven. And if you have any comments, definitely leave them below. Share, pass this on to friends and family and continue following my videos. Thanks.